Today we are looking at the 2002 Kennedy half dollar coin and what these 50 cent coins can actually sell for at auction and what you can look for on your coins that can give them some value as well. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. There's not a ton of things to look for on the 2002 half dollar, but we will show you some that are worth more than 50 cents. This first coin here has a broken collar. Uh, so this coin ended up selling at auction for over $100. It is graded by PCGS at a mint state 64. Um, so not, you know, high super mint state 68 or anything um, but the mint error is where the value is really at for this coin all right now here is a coin that sold for over two thousand dollars now at the time in which it sold uh you know this might be the only one that is graded might be the only one still that is graded at a mint state 69 so grade population is extremely important if there's only one of these 2002 d mint mark kennedy half dollar coins graded at an ms 69 uh, then that's where the value is at because it will be the highest graded example of that coin uh, This coin is graded by NGC and like I say it sold for over two thousand dollars all because of its condition all because of that grade Now this next coin is probably going to be one of my favorites of this video uh, Even though it's not super valuable. It is something that you can always look for on your half dollars uh, You know, it's graded by PCGS at a Men state 67 2002 half dollar coin and it has a clashed die. So if we zoom in here to Kennedy's neck, you can see those lines, and that is from the design on the reverse of the coin. Uh, so that is a die clash. You can look for those on pennies, you know, nickels, dimes, quarters, all kinds of different coins, right? Not just half dollars. This coin graded by PCGS sold for over $55. Not too bad. All right, here's a 2002 P mint mark. Uh, we looked at the high graded version of the D mint mark. This is the P mint mark graded at a mint state 68. This coin ended up selling for $450 all because of that grade, all because of that condition there. Now in 2002, we have the proof coin as well, which you will see in your proof sets. Now keep in mind, there are non-silver proof coins for 2002 half dollars and silver proof half dollars for 2000 for the year 2002 right so this is the 2002 s mint mark half dollar coin it is the proof coin graded at a perfect grade a proof 70 deep cameo you cannot get any higher than a 70 on the coin grading scale now this coin is the clad version so it's not the silver version this coin ended up selling for $560 at auction. Perfect graded coin there. Now this coin is the silver coin. It also has a perfect grade of a Proof 70 Deep Cameo. And this coin sold for $295. So it all depends on when the coin sells, the demand, the grade population. You know, the grade population might be different for the silver coin than the clad coin you know they're totally different coins so they're going to have different grade populations uh, so 295 dollars for that coin now this coin here has a mint error it's uh, been struck through as we zoom into the date you can see the two and the date is missing it isn't going to give it a ton of value but the coin graded by ngc at a mint state 65 did end up selling for a little over 50 dollars at auction so always check your half dollar coins and feel free to check out my other modern coin videos here on the page where we show you guys rare coins that you can be looking for from the bank or even in your pocket change. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.